I'm back here with a another life story. It's been uh, how long has it been? It's been a month or a bit over a month since I've last done one. Uh, this one is going to be on uh, psychedelics as well. I'm not going to say exactly what right now because we're in the first 30 seconds. I don't want to get demonetized because then I'll get no views and you won't see the video pop up in your sub feed. Uh, shout out to the channel members and the Patreons now. Uh, we have Carlos, Spicy Wiener, Shagward, Lprof007, Callum Kirby, Nick Conkey, Val Skates, Mike J. Mac, Pepe Harambe, Jake Cowley, The Archaic Bard, and Marlon Chase. That has to be a record breaking time of reading out the names. Um, but yeah, like I said, we have a life story today, guys, and this one is. Oh, uh, before I get into the story. I'm going to be streaming on Twitch, guys. The new Call of Duty came out, and I promised myself I wasn't going to buy it. But I'm probably going to buy it just to stream it, just because, uh, why not? Also, a new Forza comes out very, very soon. I have that pre-installed, so I'm going to be streaming that as well. Uh, new Battlefield and new Halo. Uh, new, uh, I said new Halo is coming out way sooner than it was in my previous video, but I meant... Um, in like a, it comes out in a month so i'll be playing halo then and uh and battlefield hopefully new battlefield's good so all four of those games plus other games as well obviously but yeah so go and follow my twitch guys it should be there in the description um i'm currently at 74 followers so go over there and uh try and get me out to 100 guys that would be bloody epic and it'll be sick you know we can get lit we can you know smoke weed together do whatever and play games and have chats I can tell you guys some uh, stories that I haven't told on the channel and just do cool shit like that. Uh, so it's going to be cool. So, yeah. But anyway, if you guys do enjoy this story, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Uh, let me know if you guys want more life stories. Leave 10 comments down below. Uh, turn the bell on if you haven't already. And subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it, guys. So, this one is, I'm not exact, exactly sure what the title is going to be, but I'm probably going to phrase it something to do with, probably not going to put LSD in the title, just because LSD, sometimes they demonetize LSD, it's weird, they're, they're fine with mushrooms, uh, but LSD, they're like, nah, that's bad, which is weird, but, so I did 600 micrograms of LSD, which is the largest amount I've ever taken. I didn't take all of it at once, okay, mind you. It was spread out, but um, it wasn't spread out too far to where uh, they weren't all kind of kicked in relatively, like, synergized together, if you guys get what I mean. But I'm just going to get into the story, okay, because it's a pretty long day, okay? So the day starts where I'm at work, and I'm like, well, this is the previous day. I'm at work, I do my shift, I come home, and um, what was it? Um, I did night shift. So my sleep schedule is like, I wake up at like 4 p.m., right? So that's fucked. And then all of a sudden my boss, uh, not the next day, but the day after, put me on at 10 a.m. So I was like, fuck, how am I going to fix this? So, you know, I finished work at 9 p.m. And I was like, hmm, all right, well, I'll stay up until my usual sleep schedule when I go to bed, which is like 8 a.m. or whatever. And when I got to 8 a.m., Oh, I plan to do this anyway, was to have an all-nighter and survive throughout all the day into the night so I can go to sleep at a normal time so I can get up and be able to go to work. So what I did was like, well, I know my friend has some LSD, so I'm going to hit that dude up because um, one, thing's sure, one thing is for sure is uh, having some fun on LSD is probably gonna be able to keep me up so that's exactly what i did so i hit this guy up and i was like he did he gave me the most insane price in the world um i've told you guys about lsd in australia before and especially in a town like mine i live in like a sketchy area uh crackheads all around and uh, lsd is rare here and usually it'd be like uh, i'd say standard price maybe 20 dollars for a 100 ug tab this guy gave me free uh, 200 UG tabs for $50. Um, it, it's because he's my mate, and uh, he gets them like, probably for 10 bucks each or whatever online. But 
that's still a, a phenomenal fucking deal, man. Like that in normal tabs could cost a lot. What well, that could cost up to one hundred and twenty or like you know eighty to one hundred and twenty dollars. But I got it for fifty, so that's a sick fucking deal. Um, and I can tell it was dosed correctly. They were free two hundred microgram tabs. So yeah, and I could tell they were dosed correctly because I've done LSD a bunch of times. Um, I've done two hundred two hundred. UG tabs, I've done 270 UG tabs, 150 UG tabs, 100 UG tabs, just, and I've done all those types of tabs numerous amounts of times, I, I, I kind of, um, can tell what dose is what, if you guys get what I mean, but I'll get to that in a bit, so, I was like, alright, sick, so the guy comes over, he drops into my house, and I was like, sick, can I get a gram of butt off you too, um, I think I've got like, no, I got two far. I got two grams of bud off him. Two far here is uh, two grams of bud for thirty bucks. If you guys didn't know, so yeah, I got two far off him as well. And um, then I was like, all right, let's get a cracking because it was like fucking ten a.m. at this point. I'm tired, and I was like drinking my fucking energy drink, and I was like, all right, let's get that away. Let's get out the juice. Let's get out the fucking water, and let's get to tripping. So. I started loading up uh, Battlefield 5. Um, I kind of like doing this. I, li I like tripping and playing games. I don't know. My intention at the start wasn't to go balls to the wall, right, and eat all three tabs. I thought I could probably um, just have half a tab or one tab just to stay up all day and just save the other two, right? But that's not in a, that's that is not what ended up happening, as you guys can tell. But so I was like, all right. So, I got out one of these tabs, um, held up with, with the tweezers, snipped it in half. Uh, I didn't get a really <laughs> even half. So, basically, I'd say one half was like, um, uh, what would you say, like uh, 140 UG. Because uh, 200 UT. 200 UG tab, just imagine that. So, I, I took the half that was 140 UG and then just started playing Battlefield Five. Um it didn't really take too long to kick in, and I started noticing kick in pretty fast, you know, um, uh, we have security cameras and shit, so I can, like, see the nature outside and shit while I'm playing games as well, so that's kind of cool, because, uh, when, when you have, like, a kind of high-def camera outside, and you see the trees and shit waving while you're actually doing something inside on LC, it's just kind of a cool little thing, but, yeah, I started noticing it kicking in, just, I wasn't really timing it or anything, but, you know, around the usual mark, 40 minutes to an hour, um, and I was playing, and I was like, this is sick, um, got a little bit of body euphoria, I got a little bit of the, kind of like, uh, it, it feels good to stretch and stuff like that, I, I get that kind of euphoric sort of feeling, uh, there was no visuals where, because I was getting some crazy visuals later in a trip. The most insane visuals I've ever gotten on LSD ever. But I'll get into that later. But uh, no crazy visuals. Obviously, I could look at a wall and focus on it really hard right now and see the visuals. So I could look at my camera, look at my window, and see the morphing and whatnot in the tree. Uh, well, not really the morphing in the tree. It, it kind of like a morphing motion in the leaves in this tree outside my window here. Um, the breathing technique, but it's got a bit of morphiness to it. It's a bit of a, a bit more of a hardcore breathing technique. I don't know. I think it's just, just this tree. It makes it look real cool. Um, but my air is pretty dead. Apart from that tree, um, my hood, it's all like dead grass, dead everywhere. Cause it's the hood, you know, like the council doesn't maintain this area because, it's shit, it just gets vandalized anytime they try to do something, so it's shit, but, getting sidetracked, so, I was playing Battlefield 5, and I'm like, fuck it, I'm taking the other half, let's put that in, so I put that in, and I was like, alright, let's keep gaming, so I kept gaming, and man, I was doing good, uh, I just, this is my first time playing Battlefield 5 in about a year, year and a half, maybe even two years, and I was carving it up, man, I had that acid reflexes, um, not acid reflexes, like reflux, um, acid reflexes, literally when I was playing the game, I was carving up with the snipes, man, and I haven't PC game for a while, and, um, I don't know, it just made my alertness 
I wouldn't say my alertness. I'd say like I like <laughs> what I always like to say when I'm gaming is I read them like a book, just basically predicting the enemy's movements. That's a better way to phrase it. But I was going hardcore in Battlefield, and I was like, this is sick. And as you guys know, Battlefield is a beautiful fucking game, and had that shit cranked up at fucking uh, what do you call it? Cranked up max settings and all that shit, and it looks good. Uh, my PC, I don't know what it'll be, uh, 60 to 100 FPS, it's not the best, but it's good, good experience, and I was loving that for a, for a fairly good while. Um, then I remember getting off that, and I started watching anime, because I was like, anime is gonna be fucking balls to the wall sick. So I was like, alright, well, I better throw her some weed right now, because I am already 200 UG deep, um that little second, what I say it was, 600 UG, 600 micrograms would be kicking in soon, so let's chop up some weed, I actually put up, put on some music first, and started smoking some weed before I watch anime, so I was just listening to some music, I'm actually going to go to my music playlist right now, because I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find exactly what I was listening to, um, I'm not sure if many of you guys are going to know these, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I chopped up weed, chopped up the gram, um, put in a little bit of tobacco, uh, for you Europeans that may mix your weed with tobacco, you Americans be like, tobacco, wow, that's gross, but whatever, put in a little bit of tobacco, just a tiny bit, a tiny bit, I'm not like Australians, uh, of Australians that put in a ton of tobacco, I put in the tiniest little bit, but, yeah, so I was like, alright, yeah, we got the mix set, Let's get to smoking. So I started smoking and listening to music. Um, I was listening to... Um, what's it called? 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 Well, I was listening at first to a bunch of stupid shit, like Pete and Baz, just rap shit. Uh, I was listening to this, this Aussie artist. His name is Pete Murray. He's insane. I was listening to an Aussie rapper called Wombat. He's insane. I reckon he's the most lyrical rapper in the world. Um, and just crazy slept on, listen to Rage Against the Machine, I was listening to Limp Biscuit, uh, Limp Biscuit, the fucking hot dog song, I was listening to that, these are kind of weird songs to be listening to while you're chewing, because it's kind of like more hardcore, more rap shit, this is just stuff I like session to, uh, and um, I wanted to be in a a good state of mind for the trip, because um, I, I didn't want the trip to go in a negative way, and I'm really surprised it didn't, this whole trip, especially on the amount I t took, Usually, if I took that much, I the trip would kind of spiral down a bit. Uh, but it, it went really, really well. But I was listening to all this sort of music, some classics here. We've got No Diggity. We've got Hip Hop. I was listening to this. Uh, I'm just looking at my history now, right now, of what I was listening to. Um, Live, which is an old rock band, basically. Um, yeah, just, just, just some random music, right, just vibing out to that sort of stuff, just smoking and having a good fucking time, and I was like, this is sick, um, probably smoked, uh, free cones, uh, equivalent to, uh, what that is in America, that's just under, or around a tenner, which is, you know, half a gram, so, smoked that, feeling good, uh, it looks beautiful when it comes out, like, I, some reason, whenever I smoke weed on LSD, when I exhale the smoke, it's, like, a lot more transparent, man, it comes out a lot more transparent, it's, like, nowhere near as thick, it's almost like, if you've got the Photoshop, uh, tool, and you know how there's the opacity, which is kind of, like, a, a transparency tool, right, it's, like, instead of at 100%, it's all the way down to 30%. Like, that's how transparent the smoke is. Like, it's that much harder to see when you're on LSD. I don't know why that is. Such a weird effect, but it, it, it's kind of cool at the same time. Uh, I wish it actually kept the thickness and made it look cooler. But uh, it is what it is. It's just a little small weird thing to nitpick it. Uh, nitpick out. I just think, does anyone else notice that? Because I always notice that. And, uh... Yeah, it weeks me out a little bit. But then I got to watching anime, man. I started watching some Jujutsu Kaisen show because um, uh, this guy at my work, he said it's a good watch. He said it's one of the best shows he's seen. I'm not too into watching anime that only have one season out so far because I just like the binge of shit. I don't like to wait for another season to come out and then fucking, you know, have to watch that because what if I can't even, you know, remember what happened in the last season? That just annoys me. But... 
everyone says it's a really, really good shonen. So I, I watched a couple episodes of that. It seems all right. Uh, it looks really good, but... Um, so I watched a couple of episodes of that, but then I went back to what I'm binging at the moment, One Piece, what I was just watching right before making this video, too. Uh, I'm up to episode 312 right now. He just beat uh, Rob Lucci, and it, it was insane, bro. And I was watching that whole Rob Lucci saga from One Piece, just on LSD, just like, uh, dude, anime on LSD is really, really sick. It's really, really fucking sick. Oh, by the way, by the way, um, by this time, I had already had another half of a tab as well. So as soon as I started watching One Piece, I was just feeling good. And I was like, I'm not tripping that hard right now. And I was like, I do have some trip killers. I actually have like six beers and I had a few Zans. Um, I think I had like a 10 pack, uh, 10 pack of Xanax, sorry. So I was like, I've got trip killers. I've got beers. I might as well just go hard, right? Just go hard as fuck today. And then, if I need to later on, I can just kill my trip. And I think that kind of gave me a bit of confidence in the back of the mind. It's like, fuck it. Just go hard as fuck as you want. Because as soon as... Even if something did go bad and you take, you know, those benzos and, you know, fucking skull four beers. Just the placebo effect of that alone is going to make you feel better. And then once those, you know, k drugs kick in and then lower the trip, it... it it just makes it that much better. So I think that made me a lot more confident. So I was like, hmm, fuck it. All right. So I, I got the other tab down and I, I did the same thing. I cut this one in half and it wasn't an, an, an exact cut in half again. So I just took the bigger one again and I was like, all right, sick. So I was just sitting here and playing friggin'. Sorry, I better turn my notifications off on my phone. Um, not playing, watching One Piece, and I was doing that for a while, like I said, this was still, uh, all going during that saga, uh, right after they saved Robin, and, um, you know, he's battling Luchi and all that shit, and it, it was epic as fuck, man, just epic as fuck, um, if you're not in the anime, you're probably like, what the fuck is this guy talking about, same as if you're not in the One Piece, but like, what the fuck is this guy talking about, but I was watching this shit for a while, and it, it it's so fucking sick, just so fucking sick, man. And then after that, so I'd say I was probably doing that for, I'd say pff, from the beginning of the trip until that point, I would say is the four hour mark. Okay. So I, I'm not even that far in yet. No, actually five hour mark. I'll go five hour mark. Yeah. Five hour mark. And I was like, all right. Okay. Um, I want to do something else now. So I started getting... A little bit bored. We're not really a little bit bored at all. But I was like, I want to go do something. So I was like, fuck it. Um, I really want to go out in nature because it was daytime. And you don't get a lot of, uh, you know, nature and shit. Um, well, well, sorry. Um, my area, it's shit. Like I was telling you. Like, it's it, it's not maintained well, so it doesn't look good. There's crackheads all around and shit. Like, if you walk around here, people will be coming up to you asking you for a ciggy. Like, I, I've, I've, I've had moments where, like, I've had something in my pocket, where whether it's a box-shaped thing, like a phone or anything. It could be a fucking calculator. It doesn't matter what it is, bro. And if people come along and ask for a dollar or a smoke or... Um, and you say no, they'll be like, what's that in your pocket then? What's that? And they'll even question you. Try to it's just a bad area, man. So, and I didn't really want to be walking around this area on fucking acid. So I was like, fuck, what am I going to do? What am I going to fucking do? What am I fucking going to do? <laughs> and, um, I was like, fuck it. And by the way, when I said I took that half a tab, um, the second half a tab. So this is which was a bit over half a tab. So what would this be currently? This would be uh, like 300 and... We'll go 320 UG, okay? 320 UG. Pretty much 30 minutes after I took that 100 and uh, whatever tab, I took the other half of it. So I was on 400 UG in the first uh, four to five hours. First, yeah, four hours four and a half hours to five hours. So I was on 400 UG and 
that was kicking in. So the second tab, the second 200 UG, because it pretty much took it like just 30 to 40 minutes apart, both halves, and the first half was bigger. That was starting to kick in majorly, majorly, majorly. And at this point, I actually got, I would say some of the... I n- I've never gotten a visual like this, visuals like this before on LSD in my life. I was only on 400 UG. Um, I, I, I know I did take it pretty damn quick, but I was getting some really insane visuals. And also, actually, mind you, I had another strip. Not not another strip, sorry. What I did was um, um, my mate, he had a 10-pack uh, of tabs, right, as well. And he, what he did was cut strips, because they were 200 UD tabs, and I think this guy bought some of my mate as well to sell them. But what he did was cut kind of like just a small edge of all these 10 packs of tabs, which is, uh, I think he worked it out to be equivalent to about uh, 200 UG, because it goes down the full, like, 10 line of tabs, right? Um so he gave me one of those two for free because he just had a bunch. He's like, you want one of these stringy things? It's basically like a tab, but just the string of it. They just cut off a tab and, um, you know, he measured it out. So it's like exactly, you know, 180 on the tabs and then 20, 20 times 10 in the strip. So it's 200 UG. I don't know if that makes sense for you guys, but, you know, he came around to mine early. It was the same guy that came around uh, with the bud and the tabs, um, but he gave me that strip too, I completely forgot about that, and I just shoved that in my mouth too, so I'm presumably on around 600 UG of LSD at the moment, and I, I, I I don't know what I was really thinking, because I've, you know, the last 450 microgram trip I had, I, I was balls to the wall, and I was, I was wigging the fuck out. And that's exactly what's fucking start happening to me soon. So I went to the bedroom because I was like, fuck, all right, I want to lie down. I want to relax and shit. And I, I was feeling absolute euphoric, man. Just ways of euphoria, just cl- crashing over my body. This is probably the most euphoric LSD trip I've ever had. I, I, I was just in such a happy mindset. Even though I was tired and pulling an all-nighter, right? I was in such a happy mindset. I go into the bedroom and I was having the most what I can, not 4D, but like 5D visuals, okay, I can only compare this, the only drug I can compare these visuals I was having when I was laying down and looking up is DMT, if you guys smoke DMT, you guys might know what I mean, you might see these crazy geometric pattern sort of illusions connecting, like shapes connecting everywhere sort of pattern, and then you can focus on one thing and then it changes the pattern and gets more complex and stuff. I was seeing this, not as if that's the only thing I'm seeing. I was seeing this, it's like almost a transparent geometric DMT 5D patterns just overlaying everything in my vision. And when I focus on certain parts, they get more complex, stretch out, uh, you, you like formulate more and stuff and I wasn't even really getting flipped out by this at all like I was just like this I I I was getting flipped out like this is insane this I'd I'd never experienced this before on LSD um I, I, and I think I just underestimated that strip that he gave me as well I think that messed me up a lot but and I was just looking at these patterns for a good two hours, guys, because they were absolutely blowing my mind, and I'd never seen anything like it. It's such a hard thing to explain. It really, really is such a damn, 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 damn hard thing to explain. Um, it like if 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 I can try and explain it as best as I can, this is probably going to explain weird. Imagine a bunch of uh. What, what's the right shape, like a, a three-dimensional kind of hexagon sort of thing that can um, combine together, and then you can keep combining these hexagonal shapes together, 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 to make some big sort of pattern, but then as you turn your head, it's like that pattern kind of turns with you in different ways, 
and then as you focus on different parts of that pattern, it's like you can zoom in on that part and then that stretches out into a different pattern and all the hexagons all spiral spiraling around you uh, uh, like it, they're spiraling around you like the ducks in like a, in a cartoon when someone's bumped their head and they're spiraling around you and while they're spiraling around you you can still focus on them and zoom in and like see more patterns inside those patterns overlapped with other weird shape patterns and all these, uh, like, like I said, it was kind of like a transparent pattern. So it's not like I was seeing the full, uh, the full hexagon or the the full shape. It was almost like the outline, and I could control. It, it was weird. That's the best way I can describe it. And I know this sounds absolutely bonkers. I know it does, but. It was probably one of the most memorable. It, it, it was just insane. I was so mesmerized by this that by was that I was doing it for two hours, just going, "This is insane." I've never had this from LSD. I have no. I have such a good headspace right now. I'm enjoying this so much. Just like moving my head around, controlling these geometric patterns and analyzing them and stuff, like I'm on a DMT trip. It, it, it's not on the same level as DMT, but it's kind of. The same, the the reason I related it to it is because on DMT, how you can kind of zoom in and analyze that and zoom in and it's kind of five dimensional and all weird like that. That's, that's why I was relating it to DMT, but I was doing that for two hours and it was, it was amazing. I think that was the most fun right there and right after as well, what I'm about to tell you guys but maybe that there in particular was the most fun probably not most fun but that was the best most fun i've had most fun visual experience i've ever had on lsd hands down it was just awesome i i if anyone has had something like that similar to that let me know in the comments below because i'd be really curious but it was really really good on 600 micrograms i have one more tab i have one more this guy gives uh, it gives me eight hundred micrograms for fucking fifty bucks. That is the biggest steal in the world. It, it, that that could cost in some places in Australia one hundred and twenty bucks. I got the biggest steal in the world. And I <laughs> and I took the next tab. I took the next tab. Um. So I yeah I took the next tab and then I went to I I got a taxi dude to take me to spray paint, okay? <laughs> so I was like, I, I really want to get into nature, but my shit, I can't fucking walk around here. I want to go, and um, I want to go and spray paint, and, or just at least be in nature or something, right? So you know, I start packing my bag and shit, whatnot, getting my, uh, you know, get my gloves on, get my get my mask on, all that yaddy daddy daddy shit, well, get my, not get my gloves on, but putting my mask, get my mask on, put my gloves in the bag, putting all my cans in the bag, markers, whatnot, um, and I was like, all right, this is going to be fucking sick, uh, I don't know what else to do, and I, I, I thought this is going to be fucking awesome, you know, especially on such a high dose of LSD, 800 micrograms soon, I will say, mind you as well, I took uh, 200 micrograms two weeks before this experience, so that might be the smallest little bit of LSD, uh, tolerance there, but it, it's a full two weeks before this experience, so I don't think it, had, it would have had the biggest impact on the on the uh, effects of these four tabs here, and it was these, it was the exact same batch as well. Um, but yeah, so I get this taxi driver to come pick me up because uh, my girlfriend was at work, and um, I, I didn't really want to ask my girlfriend's mom to drop me at a abandoned building, right? So what I did was, yeah, I just rang up a taxi man, uh, got him to come pick me up, and I got him to drop me off near uh, this abandoned place, and. This abandoned place is kind of like near a, uh, what do you call it, near an old person's home? Oh, not really an old person's home. It used to have a, uh, what do you call it, like an aged care center there. But then it, it has a bunch of houses there that for some reason only old people live in. I don't know what it is, like if it's like a retiring 
a retired housing estate or something like that, like, like houses, but for old people, <laughs> I don't know, but it's just all old people that live in these houses, but it's not, like, I don't know what it is, but it's right next to this big abandoned building, um, the abandoned building is the old aged care center that I was just talking about, so I go on this abandoned building, uh, this one's riddled with asbestos, so you bet your fucking bottom I got my free M mask with me, I don't even know what it's called, the proper M95 mask, uh, we've got like a, a bunch of the actual, well, I don't have like a full-on gas mask, gas filter with the two filter things that come out, I, I just have the normal mask with the filter, um, they, they do very well for asbestos as well, but I just try to never really break shit, and I try to stick to the outside of abandoned buildings, or at least go in rooms that are not too smashed up, like right in the beginning of the building, uh, maybe on the rooftop, just because some rooms are, uh, are way more riddled with asbestos than other rooms, and, and this building did have asbestos, guys, and, um, if you guys ever go in abandoned buildings, make sure you guys wear a mask, and don't wear a, a fucking COVID mask, actually wear a good mask, okay, wear, um, go down to the hardware store, pick up like a free M1, ask them if it's good for asbestos, because you're replacing a roof that has asbestos in it, or something like that, just ask some shit like that, and, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll show you a mask that's good, all right, so, make sure you do that, guys, because I used to go painting all the time, uh, you know, not even wearing mask, and asbestos, you can literally taste the shit in your fucking, like, throat, and it's bad, like, it's not bad, but it's, like, you, you can feel it there, and it's not comfortable, and it's, like, that's asbestos, and that's something that can kill you, it's just kind of a scary thing, just make sure you wear your fucking mask, okay, and uh, even if you spray paint too, wear, wear your fucking mask, I mean, I love the smell of paint, so sometimes I don't like to wear a mask, but, yeah, anyway, so, uh, yeah, he drops me off literally, and I just, uh, he, he didn't really ask me much, he just said, oh, thanks, mate, um, taxi drivers, he always try to strike up some convos, and whatever, he's like, what are you doing, or whatever, I'm just saying, you know, just going to see my grandpa, or whatever, he's just listening to the radio, they're talking about, I, I don't even know what they were talking about at the moment, the footy, or some sports shit, I don't know, I'm not really into sports, right, and I was like, all right, hell yeah, so I walk over to this abandoned place. It's always wide open. It's always easy access. It's um, it, it's got one of those big construction gates around it. You know, the bunch of metal fences that you can easily hop, or there's always gaps in them. People because people come to this place all the time. Uh, it's been abandoned for I don't even know how long. I, I guess um, at least eleven years, maybe a very very long time. Um. So, yeah, I get in there. As soon as we get in there, I start peeking, man. Like, I start peeking hard, 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 hard. And I get out of my backpack and I get to the water. I had two massive two-liter bottles of water because I knew, I knew I was out in the sun now. It's hot. Uh, it's, well, it's Is it summer here in Australia now? Yeah, it is summer in Australia. Starting to get really fucking hot. Um, this wasn't summer. This was literally a while ago, but um, it wasn't even summer then, but... It was fucking hot, so, you know, I took my, uh, jacket off and shit, and I was just chilling, and I decided to go and lay on the grass, literally. Oh, no, I didn't lay on the grass. I took my jumper off, put it on the ground on the concrete, because the grass, like, all the grass areas are kind of close to the fence, so, like, civilians might be able to see or whatever the hell. So, I just, you know, laid on my jumper and used my bag as a pillow, and I was just looking up at the, um, what do you call it? The sky. And, um, I bring it, I think I bring, like, five joints with me and four cigars. Not the massive cigars, they're, like, mini cigars. They're, like, the size of a cigarette, but they're a cigar. So, I was like, fuck yeah, let's light this up. And the clouds, man, they were amazing. They were moving rapidly. They were not really, they were moving rapidly, but they were also, like, all morphing together, and I could tell that if I was sober, these clouds would probably be a lot more spaced out, a lot more still, and moving in one direction, but they're moving all around the place, they're swirling, it's like that painting, you know, that swirly cloud, cloud painting, I lit up this fucking joint and started chiefing the fuck out of it, and that is exactly what the sky turned into, man, turned into this, like, 
Vincent van Gogh, whatever the hell, cloud, swirling night shit with the clouds just, you know, crazy beautiful blue sky with all these clouds just swirling, man, just swirling, and then I'll just put, uh, you know, have the joint down, rest it for a bit, just be watching it for a bit, take it, take it off a massive hit, and it'll just kind of intensified a bit more because I, you know, I don't smoke weed as much lately anymore, guys. Um, it, we never used to intensify trips for me, but, um, I don't smoke it as much now. Um, and now I can get much better shit. Plus, um, this is the biggest LSD dose I've ever been on in my life. 800 UG. I was just rocked out of my world and I was loving every second of it. I was loving every, every second of it. Any moment, dude, a crackhead could walk in, another kid trying to do some graffiti, just some kids trying to explore the place, maybe the owner coming in to try and check it out, see if he can sell the place to someone. Anyone can walk in and abandon places. It's not just like, um, they're, they're, they're shadowed away from society, you know, they're still, uh, you, they're still an expensive piece of land, uh, you know, obviously the walls and buildings and whatnot in there, oh, of this particular one is not expensive, because that's to be all knocked down anyway, because it's asbestos, right, so that's why I don't feel bad at all for fucking going up and tagging up and, and that shit, bro, like, because you're gonna fucking knock it down anyway, man, so, like, I don't give a fucking shit, but I'd say I was for a half an hour, an hour, just listening to more music, man. I was listening to some Flatbush Zombies. Um, what else was I was listening to? Denzel Curry. Um, I was listening to what's his name? 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 Um, System of Down. Just a bunch of random stuff, and just I end up smoking like free joints, and then I lit a cigar, got out my bag of cans and my water and I was trekking around man doing some tags doing some throwies and I pff, bro it looked beautiful just the pain coming out of the aerosol can just oh my lord man it's a beautiful beautiful experience man if any of you guys out there watching this are riders man just go and paint on mushrooms or an LSD or something. It's so fun, man. Like, because you think of just random stuff that you wouldn't usually really think of or just the way you look at certain colors. It's kind of weird. I was trying to do more creative types of pieces. I was trying to freestyle a bit as well. Usually, I, I you know, I sketch stuff up and then I copy the sketch, sketch which I did a bit of. I uh, sketched up, uh, I think, two pieces and uh, I got the throwy that I always do. Uh, plus tags and stuff, I throw up, you know, mates' names and shit that in my crew and whatnot, shit like that, um, yeah, these are the days, man, I love these days, bro, these are the days, the graph days, but, yeah, so I'm doing that, just tagging that, and that, I, I get into this real creative fucking, the, I, I did this dopest piece, man, like, the dopest piece, I went on Google, looked up a mushroom, uh, I used an Amanita Muscaria mushroom, it was a fucking, um, I had red, I had white, I had a little bit of blue that I could use for the stem, plus I had the black for the outline, uh, I had different caps, so I could do kind of the, you know, the little details on the stem where it's all rigid and stuff, I made this awesome Amanita Muscaria, on the other side, I had a sub. A sub is, uh, it's an Australian mushroom, so I, I put that one on there. So, you know, it, it looks sick. Like, if an Aussie walked in that building that, you know, takes subs, that, damn, bro, subs is, it, it, subs is more just brown, um, has a bit more blue, uh, not a bit more blue, it has a bit of blue on the stem, but it's mainly just all brown, so it's uh, it's just one color, it was a lot easier for me to do, so I did that on that side, and I did the piece right there, um, big four letters, um, not gonna even say what letters those were right now, because I don't think I should, um, but yeah, I, I put those letters up, piece was fucking banging, man, I top five pieces I've ever done hands down and you guys know yeah if you're in my discord or whatever a lot of you guys have seen some of my pieces some of my froze or whatnot and you know so you know I'm not trash I, I this is top three piece 100 percent um 
my top yeah, my my top my top pieces and all that is scattered though like because like some of them I like more because they're in a real public place like I have one that's like I, I probably even shouldn't say where that one is saying too much um I mean, I did all this shit, like, four years ago, but I, I still feel like, for some reason, like, the cops could, some for some reason, won't charge me for it, right? Um, this story didn't take place four years ago. It took place, like, two years ago, but whatever. Not even two years ago. Um, but... Oh, yeah, it is two years ago. I don't know. I don't know the exact time, okay, guys? I don't know the exact time. But, yeah, and... So I was just painting, I'd say for a good, like, uh, this stuff takes time, guys. Like, doing a good piece, especially coming from sketch, that's half an hour to an hour. Like, I, especially me, I don't do this stuff all the time, so it takes me a while. I just like being creative and stuff. So I was, I was there all the way until, like, 6 p.m. It got dark, and I got picked up, and I got taken home. So I was basically just tripping and painting for that fucking long, man. And I will tell you you do get a bit sketched out, like, I was a bit, I was definitely a lot more sketched out than I usually would be just painting an abandoned building, usually, when I'm painting an abandoned building, I'm just, like, and, you know, it's whatever, like, yeah, the only person that's gonna walk in here at this time is some fucking kid, you know, some teenagers exploring, whatever the fuck, and usually that's just annoying, they're just like, oh, can we watch your paint, can you give us some paint, bro, oh, you your graffiti outside, or just, just saying all this dumb shit, you know, well, it's going to be a homeless person, and fuck, yeah, that, that could be a little bit more sketchy, but I've ran into a bunch of homeless people, and the, the, I've ran into tons of people in abandoned buildings, 90% of them are always just exploring it, and the other 10% are homeless people, and I've never had one that's actually, you know, done anything bad to me, and I've been in tons of them, but yeah, and that's basically it, really, I, I hope you guys did enjoy this, this trip report, um, it, it was a real fun one, I got picked up then, taken home, um, and then, you know, I, I drowned myself, I, I took, like, full Xanax, I sculled, like, three beers, and was like, I need to piece the fuck out the bed, well, not the bed, you know, I stayed up for another good fucking three to four hours, just on the tail end of the high, right, like, just waiting for the Xanax and all the beers to and you know, come in with the depressing effects, you know, smoke some more weed, and uh, yeah, then I was able to successfully have an all nighter and be able to go to work the next day, guys. And it was a fucking awesome day, one of the best trips I've had, um, some of the best visuals I've ever fucking seen. Um, there was other points at the uh when I was doing the graffiti, like, when I was looking at the sky, like, when I was walking around, where my whole visuals would morph together, it wasn't seeing distortions in reality anymore, it was, well, it was, but it was next level, it was like my whole vision was turned into a, a puddle of goo at some stage, and, the, and this lasted for an hour while I was peeking, and I couldn't see straight, I just had to sit there, listen to music, smoke the weed, and just look around overwhelmed, trying not to throw up or be too overwhelmed, because the visuals were that fucking crazy and overwhelming, spiraling, spiraling around, swelling, making you dizzy, and y y you have a thousand thoughts going through your mind a second, like, this is crazy, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, so, I, I, you know, I, I did a really good job of relaxing, just laying back, taking deep breaths, drinking water, smoking weed, just trying to relax, trying to sing along to the music, trying to forget, trying to just, just sink in, that's exactly what I did, not sink in, but just, you know, zone out, let it take over, yada da 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 but, <clears throat> yeah, that's about it for the story, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy it, this is a very, very fucking long video, uh, extremely long, so if you guys are still here at the end of the video, I want you to leave a comment, uh, first person will leave this comment, um, that's a, uh, yeah, first person to leave this comment gets pinned, the comment is, um, I was doing graffiti while on LSD, okay, so that's the comment, so be sure to comment that down below, and, uh, if you're the first person to do that, you're gonna get pinned, baby. And also, be sure to leave a like, because you made it this far. You better like the video, man. You better love it, man. You made it all, all the way this far. You're not gonna give me a like. Be sure to smash the like. 
Smash the subscribe if you're new here. I upload stories all the time, live stories. People send me in stories. I read them out. I do other videos too. So check out the channel. Turn the notification bell on if you haven't already. Shout out to all the channel members once again. Go follow my Twitch. Guys, be sure to do it. It's Life is Blurry over on Twitch. It should be in the link in the description. And uh, also, my Instagram is Life is Blurry as well. Follow me there. I'll see all you guys in the next video. It has been your boy Blurry. Peace the motherfucking out, boys.